Welcome in this session. Uh, we will see what is PG metric tool and how it can be beneficial for the collection of the data and uh, further how it can be used for the analysis. So PG metric is an open source tool, though there are others also which can be uh, used for the uh, collection of the, uh, the uh, data and then it can be further used for the analysis. You have PostgreSQL Tuner, uh, then you have some other tool as well. You have uh, PG underscore collector, then uh, you have some other open source tools available which can be uh, used for such purposes. So one of the famous tool is PG Badger, but uh, uh, PG metric is also an important tool which can be used for the data analysis and further troubleshooting. As of now, it can uh, collect more than 300 plus, uh, 50 plus uh, matrices. And for this particular uh, demo, what we have uh, used is we have a, a master and uh, we have a replica which we have created. So let me restart this session. Okay. So they, uh, the, the replication is already established using the streaming replication and, uh, and uh, using these commands like uh, sudo yum install hyphen y uh, wget. Uh, uh, we installed the wget, then uh, we downloaded uh, this particular uh, tar file having the pg metric binary. We untarred it and then uh, we, uh, we have it available over here on the master. So you can see uh, we uh, downloaded the uh, dump file over here, untarred it, and so once you do it like this, you will be able to see something like this. This is this is the binary uh, which is available as of now. And how to invoke it? Uh, it works the same way your psql works you can invoke it so if it is if it is already not in the path you can include uh, this particular location in your path so that you don't have to go this location and uh, uh, do rest of the stuff so if you see hyphen hyphen help it will show you what all it can do so uh, you can see over here hyphen t timeout you can mention uh, you can mention the versions, you can mention uh, uh, if you don't want to collect the table spaces and the relations size, you can skip. And uh, collection only from schema, which is matching something, you can do that. You can exclude some schema or you can collect it for some particular tables or types of tables. Or if you want to exclude that, you can exclude that as well. <coughs> Excuse me. You can limit the SQL length as well. Uh, you can uh, limit the SQL uh, limit as well. So default is uh, 500 SQL uh, length and uh, statement length is 100. You can have it for all DBs or collects info from all user database or you can have it for the uh, you can uh, give the location of the log file and it will be able to fetch in, uh, information from there or you can mention the location of the uh, log directory as well it is, it is going to pick the and the output format you can have the output format in uh, human readable uh, uh, json format or csv so whatever format you wanted to like you can go with the uh, different options which are available as of now so for this setup, uh, the step-by-step -step, uh, configuration is given. Like when you, uh, so you can see over here, uh, what we have done is, for the demo, we created two inst EC2 instance. One is master and another is slave. We installed the, uh, the uh, database binary database on the source and on the replica. We installed the binary only, disable the SC Linux. The, all the steps are there uh, from beginning till the end for a step-by-step -step configuration of the primary and the replica. 
apart from that uh, there has been the important step which is related to loading sample data uh, uh, for uh, the demo we created some five tables with 500,000 rows and uh, relevant indexes are there and uh, uh, and we used PG bench to load some data then sys bench so uh, and uh, you can uh, import some uh, sample db rental dvd rental database as well just to generate some load and you can fire some query the most important part of this is you have to ensure that uh, where is that i have mentioned i have mentioned is pg underscore stat underscore statements that must be enabled so that it can uh, find all the statements which are available so let us see what all it can find for all the databases as of now this is this has been available only on the primary if you want you can uh, put it on the replica as well so i'm just going to run a pg metric hyphen hyphen all dbs this has prompted for the postgre uh, database role so i have entered that so you can see the uh, server version is 13.5 Server started date is uh, the date when it was started. It is two days ago. The timelines, last checkpoint details it has, uh, checkpoint uh, log sequence number it has, and the important part is active backend is that that means there is just one uh, active connection which is available, uh, the one which I am, I am logged in. Recovery mode is no. That means you are connected to the the primary one and host name it has given cpu load average there is no load average so memory uh, what is the used memory what is the free memory what is there in the buffer what is there in the cache so all the information is there apart from that you have swap uh, related information then you have um, the some of the important parameters shared buffer work uh, uh, memory maintenance work memory and temp buffers and since there is a replication which is already going on so you can see that uh, destination uh, number one uh, the username is uh, wrap user the application is wall receiver client addresses this is the uh, the client that means that is the replica the status is a streaming it started at what time it started it started two days ago how many uh, sent lsn last one it is showing written until there is no write lag there is no flush lag there is no replay lag that means both are in sync with each other sync status is a sync so in terms of the information it is good that instead of using the pg underscore stat underscore replication wall sender wall receiver everything you can see over here and it is able to show you the physical replication slot as well there there is a physical uh, replication slot which is being used which is active at this point of time and this is the restart log sequence number you can see above here as well so it is it is not temporary wall files the wall files are in archiving status wall files are 35 ready files are zero and archive rate it is showing at uh, 0 0.01 per minute last archived it is also showing any last failure for the archiving no so all the files which are generated they are replicated for the replica management you can see that there is detail available over here the wall compression has been set to off wall uh, max size and min size it is already mentioned over here checkpoint timeout and other details are here related to the background writer you have the important information so we can find the important info over here since this is a quiet demo database you will not be able to find most of the information but one when you run it in a busy database you will be able to see a lot of information which will be of great use for you and if you see the backend total backends there is just one connection which is connected and you will be able to see the lockings and weightings and other things available over here locks relations there are just four uh, 
and the virtual xid this is just one vacuum progress this is important like what a uh, no manual or uh, auto vacuum job is in progress when this is run just uh, a minute back or so maintenance work memory it is showing auto vacuum it is on the auto vacuum analyze threshold it is showing and all the important uh, details are over here roles it is showing like how, how many <coughs> excuse me what all roles are available by so you can see all the default roles are there there is the default table spaces as well and you will be able to see the database details this is the default one then i created a pg bench database with uh, some data that is also there you can see the uh, installed extension in that particular uh, uh, database there is no such uh, non-default extension how many rules have changed that information is also there uh, there is no uh, connection uh, there's just one connection and the other table inform information you can see over here if there is any manual uh, vacuum or analyze happen nothing happen like so and post analyze rows modified over 6.9 percent so these are are the uh, uh, important details likewise there are five to six tables that is created as part of uh, pg bench initialization and uh, loading so they are available over here if you fire some sql statement also you will be able to let's say i fire some statement then that will also be captured over there so when you do the demo you should uh, let's say if i So if you run the PG metric, it, it captures all the information which is of great use for us. You, you need to make sure that PG underscore stat underscore uh, uh, statements uh, that, is, that is enabled. and uh, you can you can run it for that particular database as well so that it is going to capture so it's it's a lot of information which is available and that can be of great use use for for your further 